Hello, this is Ha Could Have Been, and I am here with the most hateful, the most violent, the most, most needing to be destroyed SCP there is, and probably one of the most popular. Everyone knows this one. It goes by many names. It's been called a Tarasque in the past. It's been called... It's been alluded to being similar to the serpent of a certain religious texts. But what we're calling it is SCP-682, or the Hard to Destroy Reptile. Let's begin. I have a number. SCP-682. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682, only able to cause massive physical damage. SCP-682 should be contained within a 5 meter by 5 meter by 5 meter chamber with 25 centimeters reinforced where its acid resistant steel plating, steel plate lining all inside surfaces. The container and chamber should be filled with hydrochloric acid until SCP-682 is submerged and incapacitated. Any attempts of SCP-682 to move, speak, or breach containment should be reacted to quickly and with full force as called for by the circumstances. Personnel are forbidden to speak to SCP-682 for fear of provoking a rage state. All unauthorized, unauthorized personnel attempting to communicate to SCP-682 will be restrained and removed by force. Due to its frequent attempts at containment breach, difficulty of containment and incapacitation, and high threats of Foundation exposure, SCP-682 is to be contained and site redacted. The Foundation will use the best of its resources to maintain in all land within 50, meters, 50 kilometers clear of human development. Description SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent, and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-79 during their limited time of exposure. SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. See Addendum 682b. SCP-682 has always been observed to have extremely high speed, high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. SCP-682's physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material. SCP-682 gains energy from anything it ingests, organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of SCP-682's nostrils, which are able to remove usable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. SCP-682's regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering, and SCP-682 has been seen moving and speaking with it, its body 87% destroyed or rotted. In case of a containment breach, SCP-682 is retracted and recaptured by all available ta mobile task force, and no teams with fewer than 7 members are cleared to engage it. To date, unknown, attempted breach Breaches have numbered at 17, while successful breaches have numbered at 6. See Addendum 682-D. Addendum 682b, portion of recorded transcript of unknown. Begin log. Skip to 21 minutes and 52 seconds in. 
This is Dr. Blank. And 682 talking. Now, why did you kill those farmers? No verbal communication. If you don't talk now, we will remove you from this attempt and place you back into... Incomprehensible. Pardon? Let's just move my closer. Incomprehensible. Speak up. Two person, two personnel. D eighty five. Move the mic up closer. They were incomprehensible. The microphone only has one gain. Move it closer to it. His throat's messed up, man. Look at it. He ain't talking. Gas and scream. And screams. 682 appearing to assault D85's body. They were disgusting. Dr. Blake Inc. retreats from the room. This is the end of the log. Addendum 682D breaches with SCP 682. First occurrence. Handled by Agent Blank. Okay, I'm going to start giving these guys names. Agent Bob, Agent Mike, and Agent Charlie. Agent Charlie was killed in action. Personnel D. Okay. Personnel D-129. Personnel D-027. K.I.A. Personnel D-173. K.I.A. Personnel D-200. K.I.A. Personnel D-193. K.I.A. Which is short for killed in action. Second occurrence. On an unknown date. Age handled by Agent and Mike. Agent Samantha. Dr. Blank. Personnel of D-124, Personnel D-137, K.A. Personnel D-201, K.A. Personnel D-202, K.A. Personnel D-203, K.A. Third occurrence, handled by Agent and Charlie, Major Sergeant and, and Robert, Agent and Bob, and Agent Mike, who died in action. Personnel D eighteen K, personnel D two eleven K, and personnel D two sixteen. Fourth occurrence, handled by Agent Mike, Sergeant, and no Super or Sergeant um, Sam, Tactical Sergeant. This is hard to come up with. <laughs> Tactical Sergeant and, and 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 Michelle. Private Bob. Private Tim. Lieutenant. Mm, Lieutenant Blank. Super Sergeant and and. Ten, M. Emmy. Colonel. O. O. Arnold. Private. Oh yeah, super sorry to tell me was K. Colonel Arnold was K. Private. Bob was K. Private. Tom was K. And agent. Agent Sock was K. With the cards. Found by personnel D221. Agent Blank K. Agent Blank K. Agent Blank K. D228. D111 K. Uh, there, uh, almost everyone except for 221 and. Uh, no, just. Two, and. No, just 221 survived this one. Six occurred. Handled by. Two known surviving agents, one missing in action in, in D class. Two killed in action agents and four 
or deceased to your class. I'm not making up names for them anymore. This is way too much. Addendum 682E, Termination Options. Lock of Event 682E18. Dr. Blank attempts to use SCP-409 on 682. General Blank. General Blank and Dr. Blank observing. At 4 a.m. Exposure. SCP-682 began to tear at the point of contact, causing massive trauma to the area. SCP-682 requests several times to know what it has been exposed to. At 8 a.m., crystallization begins, spreading much slower than normal. Noon. SCP-682 shows signs of extreme pain and begins having seizures. One p.m. Crystallization stops at sixty-two percent conversion. Crystallized area explodes, causing massive physical trauma to SCP-682. Two p.m. SCP-682 recovers from exposure despite the loss of limbs and organs. SCP-682 begins regeneration, saying that it will attempt to consume, kill, and consume all staff involved in event 682E18. SCP-682 appears to now be immune to SCP-409. Use of other SCP items to terminate SCP-682 must now first be tested on samples of SCP-682 before full-scale testing. In accordance to Dr. Blank's recommendations, See document 27 and B-6. Dr. Blank and Dr. Blank have requested permission to attempt the termination of SCP-682 using SCP-689. The request is currently pending approval from the Blank Investing Council. It has also been suggested by Dr. Gears to use SCP-182 in, or in an attempt to communicate with SCP-682. SCP-182 has expressed reluctance and refuses to enter the containment chamber of SCP-682, if at, po at all possible. Addendum 682F Termination Log Experiment Log Let's see what happens here. And then I think that'll be it for the video. <sighs> Test log T OC one oh eight six eighty two. Cross SCP termination testing for SCP six eighty two. Due to the highly aggressive, adaptive, and intelligent nature of SCP-682, termination testing has been ordered, with clearance from O5 command. With major concern, it's raised about possible developed immunities due to the failure of SCP-409 and possible adaptations. All tests must be carried out on tissue samples taken from SCP-682. This step may be bypassed only by O5 command order. <sighs> Add new entries to the bottom of the list, not the middle or top. Item SCP-17 Sample is swallowed by SCP-17 without incident. Termination test record. SCP-682 exposed to SCP-17. SCP-682 issues several sounds of extreme high volume damaging several recording devices. Sound extends across several wavelengths, reporting it as the most god-awful roar by staff. 
SV-17 appears to stumble, then return to a far corner of the containment area. SV-682 attempts to break containment of both SCP-682 and SV-17. 682 is suppressed by agents and removed. SV-682 states, You foul bags of tissue! You don't data expunged. Notes. It is unclear if SCP-682 somehow damaged SCP-17 or communicate with it. Analysis of the recording is, of the recorded sound is ongoing. Item SCP-63 Tissue Test Record Sample eradicated. No traces above molecular level remain. Termination Test Record SCP E-63 was refitted to the end of a rotary ER, which was deployed into O682's enclosure. Initial approach proved partially successful, with SCP-682 losing more than 20% body weight before regeneration overtakes the destructive end process. Newly regrown tissues are not vulnerable to the 6-3's eradication effect. 682 in destroys the deployment arm, arm and 63 digs a hole through the enclosure's ground where it is later recovered. 682 succeeds in extending a long financial limb through the hole and maiming two security personnel before containment is reestablished. Hypothesis 682 is not bound to base Earth biological. O chemistry and can adapt itself to be organic or non organic as necessary. So, in the boys on the lab are arguing whether we can even classify it as living, and at least we understand life. This worries me because an unliving, undying, intelligent monster, well, that's why you start getting sacrifices in your name. From Dr. Zara. Item SCP-162, also known as the Ball of Sharp. If you, I don't know what this really is. So, tissue test record sample entangled without incident. Termination test record SCP-682. Exposed to SCP-162, SCP-682 SCP begins thrashing violently, emitting several roaring sounds and issuing profanity directed at testing staff. SCP-682 becomes entangled with SCP-162, primarily in the lower or body, head, and left forelimb. Entangled areas undergo massive trauma due to SCP-682 thrashing. After four minutes of continued exposure, SCP-682 launches away from MSV-162. Severing its lower jaw and left hind limb, causing serious tissue damage to many areas of its body. SCP-682 remains attached to the left SCP-162 remains attached to the left forelimb of SCP-682. SCP-682 Breaks containment using SCP-162 against several agents, staff, and researchers, resulting in 11 deaths and 86 injuries. Forelimb and SCP-162 removed from SCP-862 during reestablishment of containment. Two additional deaths occurred during the recontainment of SCP-162. Note. General Blank has requested that Mr. Anokium and the members of staff involved with the approval of this test report to said command at, for disciplinary hearing. Oh, jeez, this is way longer than I thought. <sighs> Honestly, y'all might want to hear me ramble this on, but... I'm looking at the scroll bar and this is going to take 
probably a few videos at least to get oh, through. This alone could be a series of its own. Point is, SCP-682 is not something that can be destroyed with a reasonable effect. And anything that is used to try and destroy it can immediately be used to... can immediately be... Um, it will immediately gain an immunity to. Within at least, at most, an hour, it looks like. Possibly a little bit longer, possibly a little bit sooner. Point is, uh, SCP-682 is highly adaptive, highly regenerative, and highly impossible to destroy. I do not know how it is kept at bay with hydrochloric acid. Not only is it only acid, but it's also a low-level acid that our stomachs have in it at all times. Anyway, I hope this has helped bring to light what SCP-6A2 is. If you liked the video, please leave a like, click on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.